Very quickly, while I'm standing on this guy's table, in the last part, I forgot to make note of the star piece that we got on at Chuck Mizzo's quiz, and I'm putting it right up now. Okay, up. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Hello, I am the Max of Few Trades, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario in the last part. We got... We came to Koopa Village, met Cooper, and fought a bunch of fuzzies, and ran them out of town. In this part, we're on our way to the Koopa Brothers Fortress in order to save the Eldstar Spirit. But before I do that, I'm going to avoid that guy, I'm going to go over here and obtain this star piece that was previously taunting us. Because it's a jerk. That's actually what I planned on getting uh, last episode, but then the quiz guy distracted me. Chuck Quizmo actually will just sort of show up at complete random. He might have a set schedule somewhere, but I'm not sure. I haven't... Oh my god, ambush! Oh god. Uh, yeah. He might have a set schedule on where he goes and when, but I don't know. it. Anyway, cutting the fight. On the subject of Chuck Quizmo, he has uh, 64 of all of the star pieces in the game, and I'm going to do my darndest to get all of them. I recommend... Avoiding this guy, and getting the Thunderbolt. Lightning that strikes one enemy. Attack power five. This early in the game, very useful. Fun fact, certain partners can uh, do first strikes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cooper is one of them. Cooper is awesome, because he can attack everybody. He leaves no mercy. No prisoners! Rock on. We're already making great use out of his abilities. Pretty sure we haven't fought any Paragoombas yet, so... Oh. And I get hit! Yay! <sighs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Alright, what you got to say there? This is a Paratroopa. No surprise here, Paratroopas are Koopa Troopas with wings. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. When you jump on them or use a power block, their wings fall off and they become normal Koopa Troopas. It's easy to beat them once they're normal Koopa Troopas. Give them another jump attack. They think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses, but they're not that tough. Goombario, are you implying that wearing sunglasses doesn't make you automatically cool? Because that's wrong. You are a very wrong Goomba. always wondered, do, can they grow those back? Or did we, like, permanently cripple a part of their bodies? Because that's really, really messed up, if you think about it. I like to think para Goombas and para Koopas grow their wings back. But then again, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I'm not really a big fan on ultraviolence. That's why I'm playing Nintendo games! Anyway. Anything in here? There is nothing in there. Fun. What's in here? Star Pace! Sweet! Yeah. Hey, get back! Yeah. Don't run from me. I like how when I'm done talking about how I'm not a fan of ultraviolence, I chase down a turtle and stomp on his face. And during that fight, we leveled up! Always good. I am in desperate need of more HP. So, I think I'll go with that for now. I I'm gonna try and keep my stats pretty much even. Ne never do anything... Ne never gonna have any of the stats be exceptionally higher than the other ones. Well, that's foreboding. Clearly, we're dealing with very, very crafty, and very dangerous masterminds here. Ah! Mario! What the- uh, Oh, we're in for a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa! So much for that. Apparently, they're sniveling, crying cowards. Okie dokie that. Then this should probably not be very hard. 
Ah! Come on! Hold still! Oh! Ha! I was almost gonna cut this, but nope! We have a new enemy! Which means Goombario. And my capture card screwing up made me miss that action command. Hooray! Little tiny bit of lag. Not much, though. Nothing important. This is a bomb bomb. Bomb bombs are pretty temperamental, and they get steaming mad when you attack them. You know, if someone ran up and hit me with a hammer, if I didn't die immediately, I'd be pretty mad, too. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. You better not jump on them when they're already angry, or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like your hammer, or you could send in other things like shells. If they attack when angry, they'll charge and explode, so you better take care of them before they blow. I like how he basically just recommends throwing Cooper at an exploding bomb. You're a great friend, Gumbario. Uh, Eh, whatever. I might as well demonstrate their destructive capabilities. Hopefully I won't screw up this X command, because this X does can hurt. Ha! Ah, awesome! Although I do have to ask how hiding under your hat protects you from an explosion. Anyway, got a key. Yay! And open the giant novelty lock. And more bombs! And we're done. Oh, never mind! These enemies are very rude, constantly interrupting me. Oh. More conversing. Perhaps this one is smarter than the other one. Ha! Let's see the great Mario get any further now. Yeah! Mario! You, uh, don't try... You still never find your way through this fortress! Uh, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! These guys are complete wusses! Apparently, when the Koopa Brothers are together, they like to put up a facade that they're all brave and powerful. When in reality, they're not. Oh man, look at this, okay. You see that Koopa? You see how he, like, came out there? Okay, hang on. Alright, okay, you totally saw how we just sort of came out from over here. Okay, you can't do that! You can't get it yet, you have to wait a little while, and then you can get it. What is with enemies in this game being able to phase through solid matter? It's ridiculous. I want to be able to phase through solid matter. This isn't fair. Anyway, progressing. More enemies. A lot of cutting in this episode. Oh, man. You serious? Okay, uh, hey, how about this? Rawr. Oh man, that totally worked! Awesome! Fright jars are normally not worth anything. Ha! <laughs> it was kind of a poor decision. I don't get any star points by scaring away enemies. And that's the downside to it, I guess. But whatever, I really didn't feel like dealing with all of those guys. And switch out of nowhere! Murdering people solves puzzles! Apparently. And this gets lowered. Don't worry, there was nothing up there that we could get to with these uh, staircases here. There was a fence that kept us out. So, we're not missing anything. Although, what is over here? Locked door! That figures. Okay. I really dig this castle. Fortress, I mean. This is not a castle, it is a fortress, and somehow the doors jump! What manner of sorcery is this? Eh! The doors won't come back down until we've defeated everybody in this room, so yeah, this is gonna take a little while. Yeah! Dang it! I kinda feel a little bad cutting out all these fights, but really, you're not missing anything. What made the doors jump up, and why did killing everybody in the room make them fall back down? Yeah. 
Whatever. Like I was saying, I do feel kind of bad that I'm cutting so much of these, this game out, but really it's just me fighting the exact same things using the exact same moves over and over again and nothing interesting happening. It's kind of the downside of, uh, it's kind of the downside of Let's Playing an RPG, I guess, but I regret nothing. I love this game, and I wanted to play it. And I burned my foot! Uh, yes. If you jump over these spinning fire columns enough times, they randomly explode into money! Oh man, so many questions, and I'll get no answers. And another key. You know, I never understood that in a lot of RPGs and, and games where you'll find keys lying around. I understand if you beat some people, they'll drop keys. Makes sense. But wouldn't the owner of the, you know, the dungeon, castle, or fortress just keep all of the keys to themselves and never let any of them go? I mean then you really wouldn't... The person they're trying to keep out wouldn't be able to get to them. I don't know. Just a thought. Wow. Good carpentry. Okay. This is perfect. I think. Whoa! Looks like Mario's here. I love how every single time any of them ever run away, it's that same sound effect. It's kind of hilarious, I will not lie. Just make progress. And... Oh, look, an inconspicuous box. It's not like we saw a ninja Koopa smashing his hammer around, so clearly this will bode nothing but positive results. Ah, darn it, this is the third time today I've fallen. Ah, <laughs> losers. Serves you right. You fell for it. I didn't fall for it, I intentionally did it. What was that? Where did that fall from? It was my head. Oh, I wonder what just fell. You saw what just fell, woman! But aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Oh, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bomb mom. No, really? Pleased to meet you. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Bombette. You seem nice. I hope we become friends. That's not creepy. Haha. <laughs> okay. Find a heal box. I desperately need that. Goombari, what do you what do you gotta say about this person? Is she on the level? She's named Bombette. That pink is adorable. Damn straight it is. She does seem to be pretty strong-willed. Her future boyfriend might be in for some trouble. How do you know she doesn't have one now? Do you have telekinetic powers? Nah, I guess not. What's going on with these guys? Oh, how long do we have to be locked up here? I'm losing hope. And I'm so hungry. So sad and mad and angry. I'm filling with rage. I'm really angry now. I want out! Out right now! You hear me, Koopas? Man, these stinky Koopa Bros worked us way too hard. They were making us work for 25 hours a day. Unreal. Nobody's life should be all work, right? I need free time to make my mark in the world. Boom! They're making them work so hard it's bending the fabric of time and space. I'm sorry, I simply will not obey tyrants anymore. Those Koopa Bros can squash the pride of a bomb mom. So, I'm using all my energy thinking of a way to break out of here. Uh, angles. Vectors. Uh, it's so complicated, my head's going to explode. You only have a head. All of us bomb moms got locked up in here by the Cooper Bros. Nothing we could do about it. The Cooper Bros used to be cool, but they got conceited because Cammy Koopa liked them. Before, they were just typical young guys from Koopa Village. They were nice enough. I think maybe the desire for adventure corrupted them. That's actually kind of sad. Uh, what do you think? What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa Bros. You said uncouth, I immediately like you. I was just one of many bomb moms working here. But those Koopa... Oh, those Koopa Bros. Once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bomb moms because they thought they might rise up. 
you know, a bomb on rebellion. What do you think about that? It sounds ridiculously epic. Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Not really. Anyway, we want to get out of here. Oh, duh. Do you think you could help spring us to from here? Or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. You don't have to ask me twice. Of course I'll help you. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. And we've, ac we've acquired my favorite party member in the game. Bombette has joined your party. Press down C to make Bombette walk for a short time and then explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy to the gr on the ground with her body slam ability or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Now let's think of a way to get out of here. No problem. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. Wait. My special teddy is exploding. Check this out. Wait, if you're not the one who told me what you could do, who was that info box from? Are we being watched? Uh, see, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. <laughs> Take cover. And... Fire in the hoe! Impressive. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route. Well, I, uh, I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad, I just blew up over and over in one place. <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, uh, we can get out now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help out whenever I can. You just ask, and I'll be there for you. Now, enough chit-chat. I have a little skull to settle with these Kama Koopa Bros. I almost called them Kampa Bros. Okay. So yes, anyway, like I was saying, Bombette is my favorite party member in the entire game. I don't know what it is about her. I just like her. A lot of people like uh, the fifth member of this group that we'll be acquiring, but, and she's, you know, they're, they're cool too, but you can't beat Bombette in my opinion. What's all the noise? In case you bomb arms forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress except in the case of emergencies. How exactly are you going to enforce that law? What in the- Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get him! Dude. Seriously? Do I have any items here I can use? Nah, not really. Okay, we'll do this the hard way. Bombette is the... Wait, no. Bombette is really freaking strong. That, I can tell ya. I was about to say she was the first party member we had that could both attack on the ground and air, but that's not true. I don't know why I said that. Um, okay. I don't know why, but for some reason I find that adorable. And it wouldn't be me if I... Oh! I completely botched that. My finger slipped right off. Uh, oh well. Same effect. I had fun with it. I have a feeling I'm going to be keeping hammer throw and using it at the most impractical moments just because I think it's awesome. Because that's just how I rolls. More victory. Alrighty. We're actually uh, getting real close to... Actually, yeah, I think I'll... I'm going to end this episode really soon, but there's just one small thing I want to go grab before we end this off for now. Right over here. I'm gonna walk all the way over here. Uh, through that door is a save block, by the way. We don't need it right now, though, so it's not only. But there's a cracked wall right here. It's actually pretty easy to miss. And twaddle on over here. Open it up, and you got the refund badge. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. That's kind of handy. I don't think I'll end up using it, mostly because I just. I don't know, I, I like moves and stat changes better. Anyway, I think that's perfect for now. In the next part, we'll continue our journey through Koopa Bros Fortress and hopefully actually get up to them and teach those sniveling cowards not to mess with Mario. I'll see you guys next time.